In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve a two-step equation that has negative variables. Let's think about negative variables for a moment. We know in the past that if there is no number in front of a variable, we always assume there is a 1 in front of a variable. So if we see an x, we assume that means there is 1x. This means when we see negative x, with no number there, we can assume there is a 1 in front of that variable. That's the same as negative 1 times x. If we can keep that in mind, it should work like every other two-step equation. For example, if we see negative x plus 8 equals 5, and we want to know what is the value for x that makes this true, well, we have to do the adding and subtracting first. What's added or subtracted with the x? Well, we have these 8 positives. We get rid of those 8 positives with 8 negatives on both sides. This leaves us with negative x equals negative 3. But we don't want to know what negative x is, we just want to know what x is. Well, we remember that that's the same as having negative 1 times x. So to get rid of negative 1 times x, we have to divide by that number, divide by the entire number, negative 1, on both sides. The negative 1's divide out, we're left with just the x is equal to negative 3 divided by negative 1, positive 3. We have our solution. Let's verify that it is correct by checking our answer by replacing the x with the number we found negative x, or negative 3, plus 8. Is that equal to 5? Well, with negative 3 and positive 8, we see the positive is bigger. 8 minus 3, whoops, is 5. Sure enough, it checks same answer on both sides. x equals 3 must be the correct answer, the value for x that makes the original equation a true equation. Let's try one more. In this problem, we have negative 4 equals negative 6 minus x. As usual, we'll balance through the equal sign. We want to get the x alone. This time on the right side, we have to get rid of that standalone number first, those 6 negatives first, and we get rid of those 6 negatives with 6 positives on both sides. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. The 6 and negative 6 subtract out. Don't lose this negative now, we have negative x left over. However, we remember negative x, we can always assume there is a 1 in front. That's the same as negative 1 times x, which means to get rid of the negative 1, to get the x alone, we divide by the number, divide by negative 1 on both sides. The negatives 1's divide out, and x is equal to negative 2 for our final solution. Let's check it to make sure that's the correct answer. The way we can check it is take that number and replace the x with it. So we want to know, is negative 4 really equal to negative 6 minus x, or minus negative 2? Well, we don't like to subtract with negatives, so we'll add the opposite. And negative 4 is equal to, the negative is bigger, and 6 minus 2 is 4. We get the same thing on both sides. It checks, which tells us our answer, x equals negative 2, is the correct answer. It is the solution that makes the original equation a true equation. When we see a negative in front of the variable, we treat it as negative 1 times that variable, and continue solving like any other two-step equation, getting rid of the standalone number first by adding or subtracting, and then multiplying or dividing.